we thank God for another opportunity to look into his word in order to be alert that demons will not hold us captive by their deceptive ways. In the last episode, I was trying to let you understand that Jesus Christ is the founder of the church. He put me here. I represent him. So there's no way I can speak against my Lord. I am afraid to speak against him. So if anyone calls himself a man of God, if he calls himself a pastor, that word means he's working in the church. If he disagrees with what the Lord Jesus himself said, that man represents demons. Simple. If he says, I'm the only way, the truth and the life, and he, if, if a man gathers 40,000 people in church and, and, and joins worldly people to say that there are many people in this world, so there are many ways to God, that man doesn't represent Jesus. He is on his own. And his words have betrayed him. And your eyes you open. Many of them preach throughout their lives. But when they are going to die, they say Jesus is not the only way. You see? When demons are in people, no matter what you do, your words will betray you. Because you can never do the right thing. You can never say the right things. That is what I said in the other episode. Today we want to learn uh, some new things. And I'm still on demons and deception. And under this deception, I'm talking about deceptive teachings. I'm dealing with some of the things they distort. The things they teach wrongly. That is what I'm building under this point. So I've, I've now handled uh, the, the teachings about Jesus. Today I want us to continue with another thing that demons can let their false teachers and the false prophets talk about. The first thing I want to talk about today is that some of the false prophets and teachers have said that the, there is no heaven. Some even say that they don't believe in heaven. It is very interesting. Number one, they say there is no heaven. And number two, they say that they don't believe in it. Now, if you don't believe in heaven, then why have you gathered those people? I've always said and told my church people that many churches came about as a result of one person whom demons took control and wanted to argue, argue. So some of the churches were established just to argue about the truth. When demons hold your mind, I'll come to that point. They can distort your thinking against the truth. That's what we are trying to learn. They say there is no heaven. If you say you don't believe in heaven, let's go into the Bible and let's find out. Let's turn our Bibles to Revelation chapter 21. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. This scripture tells us that there is heaven. Heaven is a city prepared by God. It's a dwelling place of God. And God is going to destroy this heaven. When the Bible talks about this heaven, it's this first and second realms of the skies. You see? Then this earth, you will destroy both and bring the heaven, his dwelling place down on earth here. That is why, why we are preaching. That is what we are take, telling the church about. If there is no heaven, 
Then what are we doing here? It is a waste of time to be in church. There was a time I heard a pastor preach. And this is, this is what he was saying. Some Christians serve God because of heaven. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Some of them, I don't know who taught them. Any script, any, any uh, scripture, they don't understand, then they'll bring it outside. Anything they don't understand, then they want to talk about. If there is no heaven, then why are we serving the Lord for? Heaven is about entering the kingdom of God. Heaven, heaven, heaven is equal to the kingdom of God. It is also the kingdom of heaven. That is why the other said, I said, if whatever, the other time I said that, if whatever we do here on earth cannot bring us into the kingdom of God, cannot bring us into heaven, then it is useless. There is heaven. I've proved to you from the Bible. There is heaven. That is why we strive to be there. If you don't go there, God is going to destroy this earth. This earth will be destroyed. Whether you accept it or not. I read from the Bible. You see? So it's demons using these people to, to cheat people and to cunningly deceive people. Huh? I don't believe in heaven. There is no heaven. God will not destroy this earth. It is not true. Then what? Please, let me ask you a question. What, how, what do you call your organization? What, what do you call it? Is it church? This is big deception by demons. So, you as a child of God, seeking to be free from the hellfire, should not give ears to such destructive teachings. They are distorted. They are heresies of demons. They are the cunning words of men. And you don't listen to them. You see? So, there is heaven. If, if you say there is no heaven, then I don't know what, why you have packed people in a room and what you are talking about. You see, it means also that that man is doing his own thing. The fact that he says and some organizations also say that they don't believe in heaven, it means that what they are doing in that room is not church. It is something else. It is deception. They are deceiving people as if they represent God and Jesus. But they are always, I've been saying it continuously, that they are always between them. You are doing something else. It also means that you are not bringing people into the kingdom of God. And I wonder why people still listen to such crap. I wonder why people go there to listen to this. If you are not charmed by demons, then it is foolishness to listen to these things. You see? If somebody should be bold and ask them that if there is no heaven and if you don't believe in heaven, then what are we doing here? Somebody should ask that question. What are we doing in this building? Then the next question comes. Where are you taking us to? It boils down to the point that they are doing their own thing. That is why I call such places problem solving centers. It is not church. They are just doing their own thing. Come to me. Buy this oil. Buy this. Buy that. Buy that. It is problem solving center. And number two, they want to find money. It's about money. It's not about you. You see, if he says he doesn't believe in heaven, it means he doesn't care of your salvation. It is serious. Please wake up. Wake up. Be alert. And be free from the demonic deception. You see, if you want to enter heaven, don't listen to such people. Who say there's no heaven? You can only yearn and be to a place that you understand that it is real. But if somebody doesn't believe, why do you waste your time to follow it? That is the deception. The Bible says there will be new heaven, there will be new earth. So don't believe false teachers who say they don't believe. It is in the Bible. It means demons have used their minds. To distort the truth. That is what I said in the other episode. That they want to make God and the word. And the words he says. Become lies all the time. All the time. Demons want God to become a liar. But the Bible says that. Let every man become a liar. And only my God. Be truthful. God cannot lie. God does not lie. And God will not lie. Amen. 
is almighty God. So don't be deceived. There is heaven. Heaven is the dwelling place of God. God wants us to dwell with him. That is why we have established churches to teach people to live holy in order to enter the kingdom. That is why John the Baptist and Jesus and the apostles said, oh, I'm also talking about, talk about, we are all talking about. That's what we are all talking about. It's about heaven. All that we have gotten. So it is ridiculous to preach and say some Christians go to church because of heaven. If it's not about heaven, then what are, what, what are we doing here? It's, it's, about, it's about entering the kingdom of God. That is what it is. That is what it is. Amen? So that is the first thing. The second thing that they can say to, to people. You see, people who go to such places, please, when you see many people following false teachers, false pastors, and false prophets, don't be alarmed. Demons have taken away their minds. People who sit there, majority of them are illiterate. They cannot read the Bible. They are being deceived by, by people. They are gullible people because of demons. So don't, don't be amazed that such people follow them. It is sad though that some people who can read and write follow them. They are the educated fools who follow such people. Read the Bible for yourself and don't let demons use anyone to deceive you. Amen. The next thing I want to talk about that they distort, the next teaching they distort has to do with polygamy. Talking about man, a man marrying many wives. Some of them say that it is not wrong for a man to marry many wives. I'm talking about Christians. Let me re emphasize that those people who are not Christians can marry 100 women. Even the worldly laws. Can, can prohibit them. Even the worldly laws cannot allow one man to marry many. But if he can marry many wives because of his religion, that is outside Christianity. I don't have problem with people who are not Christians at all. They can live their lives. They, have, they are entitled to their opinions. But you, you, if you call yourself a Christian, that is what I'm talking about. If you say you are what your organization is called church, and you disagree with the truth, that is the problem. If you don't understand something, that is why we go to church and the man of God is there to interpret the wisdom in the word for you. But you don't distort. Polygamy is a man marrying many wives. Let me give you the two scenarios in the Bible. We have two, uh, three scenarios, sorry. The truth the truth the temporary situation and the truth revisited the truth temporary situation and the truth revisited so let me give you the truth Genesis chapter 2 let's go to Genesis chapter 2 Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 it says, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. A man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. One, one man, one wife. That is the original truth. So this is the original truth from Genesis. The intent of God was that man should marry only one woman. Simple. I'm talking about people who are under God. I'm talking about Christians. I said, you see, traditional people can marry a lot of women. Other religion allows people to marry a lot of women. But I'm talking about true Christians. It should be one to one corresponding. One man one wife. This is the original truth. Then the temporary situation. That was when Moses gave them temporary laws. Allow, and God also allowed a temporary situation. And that is the time before Jesus. 
those times that in that dispensation, God allowed some men to marry many wives. David was one of them. You see, just to give you one example. Solomon married many women. Even I've also said, I've always said, even in the old dispensation, when God Almighty allowed men to marry many, look at the trouble that it brought. Even in the old dispensation. Even in the old dispensation, the middle, the middle part, where God allowed men to marry. Look at the trouble it brought in the Bible. Look at the trouble. And Kana also had two wives. A lot of troubles. A lot of trouble. Because of that, it was a temporary situation. So when the Lord Jesus came, I call it truth. The original truth revisited in the New Testament. And when the original truth revisited, the Lord was always answering questions and referring to Genesis. He said, in the beginning, it was not so. In Matthew chapter 19, when the apostles so the disciples by then were asking the Lord questions about marriage. He said, have you not heard that in the beginning, he referred to the original time, the original truth. And when Apostle Paul, the great apostle of the New Testament, when he was also talking to the church, let's hear what he also told them. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. He says, nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, let each man, each man, have his own wife, and each woman have her own husband. One one. One one. I don't know why this simple truth can be distorted by demons, and you also will not read from the Bible. But allow yourself to be deceived. This is simple truth. God, the Lord Jesus, was telling the people that have you not heard? He referred to the original. Apostle Paul here speaking that each man should have his own wife, and each woman her own husband means that he also visited the original truth. So it is it means that in this new covenant. In this New Testament, as we say, polygamy is not allowed. It is not allowed anymore. You should only have your own wife. So understand that these are the small, small things demons are using to distort the truth. You see, if somebody has lust inside his body, he wants to satisfy himself, then he's looking for scriptures. There's something funny in this world. Anything that you want to do, if demons have your mind, they can direct you to distort the scripture and use it to satisfy your whims. But we have to be alert. You have to have an open mind and don't be disturbed by false preachers who don't know what they are talking about. Please, beloved, God loves you. Demons are doing so much harm to the minds of people through distorted teachings. Please be alert and be aware. I don't want you to go to hell. Don't forget. God wants me to tell you all the time that he doesn't like you to be in hell. But you have to be in his kingdom. Let your eyes open and sit down so that demons cannot deceive you. Next time I'll be talking more about deceptive teachings. May God bless you. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you have been enlightened. To hear more, you may subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to see more videos. Pastor Kukodatsi has written a very informative book called How Demons Operate. Grab yourself a copy to know how they operate and know how to liberate yourself from demonic oppression. To stay in contact with us, you can reach us through these details. God bless you.